Fepulea Eati Laropati will continue as the president of the Lands and Tidal Court after Parliament's decision today. Members of Parliament debated over the two motions to decide the termination of Fepulea Eati Laropati from his post as a president or reinstate him. Prime Minister Tuila Epalupe Soli Aisa Ilele Maliele Ngaoi voiced the government's motion to remove Fepulea Eati from his post, while the chairman of the Parliament's Special Inquiry Committee, Nafo Eloa Tala Imanu Keti, announced their report with the motion to keep Fepuleai. The majority of members of the parliament voiced their concern over the reinstatement of Fepuleai. The Deputy Prime Minister of Yame Naomi Mata'afa was strongly against Fepuleai being reinstated as the President of the Lands and Titles Court. Fiamme stresses that the rule of law should be conceded and everyone is equal under the law. Whether you're a minister, judge or ordinary person, when you commit a crime, you should be held to account and treated and punished fairly. Despite the majority votes casting Fipuleai out from his post as the president of the Lands and Titles Court, the votes resulting in 21 voting him out and 18 voting to reinstate him, the law required members of parliament to reach two-thirds of the votes to uphold the Judiciary Commission's recommendation in order to terminate Fipuleai. Fipuleai Attila Ropati was convicted in April this year with intent to cause actual bodily harm. The key aggravating features of the incident that took place at a Christmas party back in 2017 was described by the Court of Appeal that Vipulea's action was an extreme nature of violence. The seriousness of physical, psychological and emotional injuries caused to the victim, the use of a weapon, the appalling example Fipulea is said to others being in position of high moral authority. Fipulea will be reinstated to his post as the president of Lands and Titles Court of Samoa. Rosalia Setefano for Telephone.